he also happens to be the yin to my yang. Anything I'm bad at, he happens to be amazingly gifted at. But don't be fooled, it's taken us a while to get to this place. Um, for years before, my household was an intense battlefield, and we were both in it to win it. I remember when he was a baby, I would get so mad at his pure existence that I would just bite him. And after biting him, I would make him, I would sit on top of him until the bite mark went away and hide the evidence. I knew him my arch nemesis. Part of the disdain was the fact that on multiple occasions people referred to him as Emily's twin with a better temper. I'm not kidding. It got so bad that um, when one had to have a birthday, the other had to have their half birthday celebration. Because we were exactly, of course exactly, four years and six months apart. There has always seemed to be a winner and a loser in our house. As weird as it sounds, I learned some really valuable lessons from hating him. The first lesson I learned <laughs> is that when you um, put Purell in your two-year-old brother's hair to burn it off, you will get in trouble. <laughs> While my mom asked why I did this, I responded by saying, it wasn't fair that he had more hair than me. Yeah, I didn't grow hair until I was five. <laughs> Second, I learned that um, leaving him locked in a mudroom with dogs for three hours with um, his food in a bowl to train him is definitely like a big no-no. <laughs> With the of retaliation, I distinctly remember him acting out his construction dreams on my prized dollhouse that I spent every single second of my time perfecting. But eventually, oh, nah. But eventually we came out of our unique hair stages and learned how to manage our curls, like kind of, not really. <laughs> Additionally, he became much stronger than me and the um, physical fights we were in just had to stop. I realized the time he flipped me on my back, and I realized, wow, he's really growing up. And we started to forge our own paths in our lives and began to realize how little time we had with one another. Part of growing up is learning to be patient and understanding, or being forced to by our parents. He's my best friend now. He's my best friend now, and I think some of my friends may like him better than they like me. If you ask most of them, they will say they have at one point texted Chris or even started a group chat with him. Um, life for a while was a competition between us, and I'm not saying I've been completely overcome, able to completely overcome these feelings. For example, every year my dad makes a book full of pictures, um, and it's tradition that I go through the book with a fine tooth comb and count who has received more pictures. I just want to say I lost by five pictures this year. <laughs> However, I realized that the best thing I learned in high school is that it's not a race to nowhere, and that is something that I've cherished every day. What I've learned through my brother or favorite child, as yeah, he's actually referred to that in my household, is that at times, life will feel like a contest. If you live it like you're always competing, you miss the good things. And I'm thankful that I've been able to come so close to my brother and view him as a teammate, not a rival. Being in high school, there's always gonna be someone better than you, but I, it's important to realize that you probably have a lot more in common with those people than you think. I'm gonna miss Chris so much next year, and now I see that becoming best friends with my enemy is one of the best choices I've ever made. So after my rant, I just want to leave you off a quote, that the best way to beat your competition is to just join them.